Hey two fans, it's the Creepy Dollman here. I'm back with an all new episode. It's February 26th of 2018. Time is 3.36 a.m. Okay, I'm back. Now, I'm going to let all you two fans know, and all you non-YouTube fans, and all you diehard Creepy Dollman fans from around the world know that this episode that I'm showing tonight is from the new version of Communicating with Our Spirit Friends. Part 7 of the two-part miniseries that was re-released. Now, this is number... This number, I'll tell you what his number is when we get to him. But it was reissued for one reason. Too many errors, too many mistakes. That causes the good communicating with our spirit friends. So the original was sacrificed. And then the Creepy Doll Man decided not to delete that episode. So what I did was actually saved it and made it a unreleased bonus episodes. So if you ain't seen them yet, you need to see the original ones that the Creepy Doll Man told. Now, the last five remaining Honey Possessed stuffed animals were not completely told due to an error we had with one of the spirits kept saying your mama about six to ten times. So I had to pull that episode because of that crap. And I decided to say the last one to the Scooby-Doo that I didn't get to, I decided to release him and did it. I went back and re-released him for our new leader in the new version. So let's start now by saying this. Okay, the day's topic is on this doll. Numbers 87 has now been revealed in our communication and our investigations with both me and the Creepy Ghost Hunter Jr. We found the name of this male spirit that is attached to this Hindu doll. His name is Hyglesia. Now, Hyglesia gave us very little detail how he lived just before he died. And Hyglesia did give us a description of what he is. He is, he is born, he is actually a, he comes from India, so he's an Indian person. Uh, sad to say, Hyglesia died a very tragedy in a very, very violent way. He died from being killed by choked to death by somebody that he would not tell us if it was a male or female that killed him. But he was strangled to death and died at the age of 17 years old in the year 100 BC. Now that is a sad tragedy that this young man has died a violent death. And you know, it's, it's kind of a shame to see that this stuff happens in the world today. There's violence. And I think the problem today is a lot worse. If it's not in music, it's in movies, TV series, or in video games. And a lot of people learn this stuff. And a lot of people are doing killing no matter if it's with, by with their bare hands or with a gun. Or in with knives. People don't learn to show respect for others. You have no respect for yourself and you got no respect for others as well. Now... This is not what we say the end because the creepy doll man's leaking it out now that I will complete the whole new version of these, you know, all ten from the, the new Communicate with Our Spirit Friends Part 7 of the two part miniseries, complete the reissue version of all the dolls and all the stuffed animals, and we're going to finish them all. Why? Because it's getting to the conclusion that. Creepy Ghost Hunter Jr. will return this Friday or this Saturday to do Communicating with Our Spirit Friends Part 8, the last two part mini series, but not the end. We will do it back to standard issue only. Okay, and I say please watch for further new episodes that come from the Creepy Doll Man. Why? Because they're going to multiply just as fast as the dolls are. And please subscribe today to see further new episodes to come. And this is a creepy doll man saying goodbye and God bless you all.